Hey there guys, my name is Dave Carroll, the creator of Proposal and also the owner of Line Share Maintenance. We are a pressure washing and window cleaning company based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. What I'm going to do quick in this video is just walk you through the Proposal software that we created for my business originally about 18 months ago and have made public to all of the service industries around the country. So what you do is our domain name is closethejob.com. So we're going to go to closethejob.com. Our program is a cloud-based server. You will log in always at the website here. Our device is completely mobile friendly. You can use it on a tablet. You can use it on your computer, in the field, anywhere you have an internet connection, you can use our software. So we're going to go to the website, go here to log in. My account here is saved, of course, because we use it for our company every day. So I'm going to log in. And this will take you to the dashboard. Now on the dashboard, you'll see that you have your, this is a follow-up calendar. These are all the bids we did a week prior. So like these bids here that we sent on Wednesday of last week appear here now. You can click this bid to send a follow-up. You add a note, save and send, and that will send a follow-up reminder to your customer. These are your last five bids. You have the options here to see the details. You can copy the bid. You can delete it. You can set a different follow-up date. You can change the status of the bid, which also will allow you to create an invoice if you accept or close the bid here. If you want to create an invoice. And then in the account tab here, when you first sign up for the program, it'll walk you through step-by-step -step in setting up your account. But if you were to miss any of those steps, you can look here and see, this is where you edit your company profile, all of your information there. This populates your signature line, and this is all in the edit your company. You can change your logo. You can manage your attachments, which are the PDFs that you have saved that you can add to any bid. And I'll walk you guys through that in just one second here. You can edit the body of both the email sent initially and then the follow-up email. You can manage your cover pages. You can see your email open history. So you get a notification every time that your customer opens the email, you will get an email notification saying that. Uh, we have managing your services here. The industry names are placeholders and then you can add all of your services that your company provides here. I like to keep them at zero and so they're populated at zero. You can also have fixed pricing but this allows you to edit within the proposal. And again, I'll show you guys that in just one second here. Uh, your follow-up calendar. If you're on a tablet, you can see your, or a mobile phone, you can see your icon details because you won't be able to hover over them. That's an option there. Your close rate in your bids. So we give you an idea of what got accepted, what got rejected, closed, all that good stuff. And then from the dashboard, you can go here on the dashboard. You can see your customers and use the search bars. You can also search your proposals. So on the dashboard here, let's say we want to look for any type of job that we've done, any bid. That search tool there allows you to get a little bit more intricate and get into other proposals that you do, search customers, and just makes it a little bit easier to dig into the program. What I'm going to do here is create a new proposal. To create a proposal, you're going to have to add a customer. So I'm just going to, for the ease of creating a proposal, assume that we've already had a customer. I'll use myself. But if you were to add a new customer, it'll ask you if it's a commercial or residential customer. Let's say it's a residential customer. Just populate their name there. And then it will forward you again to the Create Proposal screen every time that you create a customer. So we're going to do a test account that I've set up for myself. Let's do some services here. Let's do pressure washing. I have this populated at zero. So let's say the description for the service is clean the sidewalks. I'm going to clean the sidewalks. We're going to do $250. See how that auto populates there? Let's do another one. Um, awning cleaning. Character limit here is 200, so, so we're going to do um, 
$300 of clean awnings. You'll see it'll pre-populate the subtotals here. Now let's say we have something like a repair or a lift rental or something like that. Um, we'll have certain services that will be pre-populated that will just jump up and say the lift rental is $3,000. Again, you can get as detailed or as non-detailed as you want. You can zero out the subtotal if you got a couple different line items that aren't going to be in the bid. This section here allows you to add any notes that you like to your bid. You can get descriptive here. You can use bullet points, um, different paragraphs, bold. This is where we get very detailed in the bid, and again, we got a character counter down there. Next step where you can add photos to the bid. So we're going to do a picture here of a graffiti removal tag that we've done. Add this. And we're just going to add one picture there. And then let's do our commercial services letter and our certificate of insurance. These are all of the documents that we've had added to our proposal here. So now we're going to save and preview the document. What this is doing is merging all of the information that we just added to the proposal and now how we've set up our logo. We have all of our company information. This is the text that we've added to the bid automatically in each proposal. We have our, we didn't have any, any sales tax, we zeroed out the subtotal. Any of your notes will be on a one page there. You have the pictures that we added. Proposal includes these two attachments. They have a place to print and sign this. Here's our commercial services letter that we added, the certificate of insurance and we added. We want to save and send this immediately. Now a proposal has been sent. What happened was that one copy was sent to our customers, but then we also got CC'd automatically on that bid. So the pro proposal we just sent here, this is what your customer received. Quote below, this is the text that we added to the bid. Now we're going to open up the proposal here. And this is what our customer received when we sent it over. All broken up, extremely professional. Creating what would otherwise take you about 45 minutes, we just did in about three minutes. So that is what we created. It's what I needed for my company, again, proposal is completely residential and commercial friendly. For any more information, guys, visit www.closethejob.com. We can be reached at support at closethejob.com or via phone at 612-244-1031. Appreciate your time, guys, and hope to hear from you soon.